Good evening, everyone. My name is George Compton. I'm a minister of the gospel, ordained minister. Um, I want to share with you a story this evening. There seems to be a lot of confusion on this mark of the beast. Okay, I'm not sharing my opinion. I'm sharing scriptural based fact. I don't necessarily have to agree with everything in this Bible, but I do, however, agree that it is truth from front to back. Every word written is from God and inspired by God. Some people may say that this revision and that revision and, and it, it ever, everything says something different. No, it's all scripture and it's all inspired by the word of God. Amen. Just a little this, little that. But the base remains the same. The message is good for instructing and it's good for teaching and rebuking. And it's going to tell you how to get to heaven. But here's what I'm going to tell you tonight. This is what you don't do, okay? I'm going to tell you a story about this beast. And in Revelation 13, it starts out telling us about this this, uh, this this serpent, this beast rising up out of the ocean. It's got seven heads, seven heads and ten horns. And on each of his horns, ten crowns. And on his heads, a blasphemous name. So this, this beast is completely, totally, and utterly against God. He got blasphemous, blasphemous names against God written on all, each of these, these crowns and these heads and everything. Now, this, this beast is going to control the entire earth. You hear what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm saying that it's a monetary system, and he's going, to, he's going to control everybody. Now, listen on. This beast is given authority from God, because if God didn't give him the authority to do so, he couldn't do it. But he is given authority to make war. He is granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. So I'm not talking about your fly-by-night Christians that go in here and they raise their hand a little bit and they say they're sorry to God and the Holy Spirit brushes by them and they go back out the next day, you know, and they, and they carry on with life and, and some preacher tells them they're saved, okay? I'm talking about the, the hardcore, the Christians, the ones that have given their lives to God, that, that everything they do, is in accordance with God. I mean, I'm not talking about following the law. I'm talking about loving God. That, that, that every decision you make, you think about, is that going to bring glory to God? You know what I'm saying? Not glory to yourself. Glory to God. So this beast is given authority. You better lean in. You better lean in. Okay? This beast is given authority to make war with the saints. And he has the authority. The authority has been given to him to be over every tribe, every tongue, every nation. All those who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of the line, the book of life of the lamb that was slain from the beginning of the foundation of the world. He says, if anyone has an ear, you got to hear. You better listen. Okay. So he has, he has been given authority to take down all the saints, to kill them that, 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 that don't agree with what he's saying. He said he was granted power to give breath to the image of a beast so, so that the beast could both speak and cause many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. So I don't know if you've ever heard of Doherty Rose, and I don't know if you're up to speed on where we're at with our artificial intelligence and the lifelike bodies that Gordy Rose is, is on a mission to make right now. Right now it's a sex robot is what they're saying. But I guarantee you what we see is way behind what they have. Now if, 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 if he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many that would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. So you're when he, when he puts down his law over the entire earth you will worship this beast system. You will worship this beast. He's done given his authority to, I'm sure, a quite beautiful man. That, that he's going to have all the power that the beast has to rule over the entire earth. And if you don't agree with this system, if you don't agree with this system, they're going to take you down because he's, in, he's been given authority from God himself to make war with the saints, and to overcome them. So, he says he causes all. Listen to this. This is the mark. This is the mark, okay? So if you don't worship him, he's going to kill you. And then the ones that does worship him, he's going to make you get a mark. So you're going to die for God. If you refuse this mark, if you refuse to worship the system, 
You're going to die for God, okay? He says that he causes all, both small and great, rich. I love the money. Rich and poor. Free and slave. See, there's not going to be no free no more. Because even if you're rich, you're going to be a slave to the system. To receive a mark on the right hand or on the forehead. And that no one, no one may buy or sell except the one who has the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name. He says, here is wisdom. Let him who understands calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of the man, or a man, and his number is six score sixty six. Six six six. So this system that's coming into place, it's been building for a long time. Way before the Beverly Hillbillies. I just put that in there. But way before the Beverly Hillbillies. It's just where it started glorifying the, you know, everybody's like, oh, I sure wish I could get me some black gold, some Texas tea. Get me a big old mansion. You know, now they got lottery everywhere. Everybody's, everybody's betting on the lottery. The less money you have, the more money you spend on lottery. It don't make no sense, does it? I ain't got no money, but I'm going to spend every dime I got to try to win the lottery because I want to be rich like, like Beverly Hillbillies. Amen? You hear what I'm saying? I'm telling you, look, the Spirit of the Lord came over me, but this is the warning. This is the warning. He said, you tell my people. You warn my people, George. So I'm standing here tonight looking like a mad, crazy man. I'm warning you. You better... Put an ear forward, and you better look at this system. See, it started back at the Beverly Hillbillies. It started way before then, but I'm just saying, listen to me. Then we had cash. Then we had a car, right? Then they put this chip in the car, right? And you got to start. Hey, you got the chip, you got the chip, you got the chip. Yeah, man, I got the chip. Right? Right? <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, just please use me to speak your words on what you want me to relay. So you've got to see it's a progression thing. They can't just jump out here and say, take this mark. Because nobody's going to take that mark. But it's a progression thing. So now we had the credit card. We got the chip. And then next thing it's going to be is they're going to come out with the ID. Now remember, no man can buy or sell. At least he had the mark. The mark is saying that you're in agreement with a certain system. The beast system. That's ruled by the beast that gave his power to the image so that he could murder everybody and kill everybody that don't agree with him. And then he's going to make everybody take a mark. So they just ain't going to come out and put this mark on your hand. But they're going to start and it's going to be a progression. So the next thing that's going to come up is we're going to have to have, right now we got to have this mask on. Before we can even go in anywhere. People's going to jail all over the country, all over the world. They're going into the jungles. I ain't saying it ain't real. I got my, my best friend is up here in, a, in ICU with this thing. I'm not saying it's not real. But what I'm saying is that the system is rising. The beast is rising. He's getting power. And he's getting strong. And he's going to, he soon is going to be his turn to make war with you if you are a child of God. So now we're going to have this card. And we're not going to be able to get in Walmart. We're not going to be able to get nowhere. You notice how they're taking the mom and pops out. There ain't no mom and pop store no more. If you want anything, you've got to go to the man to get it. You've got to go to the corporate store. A Walmart can sell anything they want. Kayaks, paint, food, clothes. But you can't go downtown, down to your little store and get nothing on it, can you? Because they ain't essential. Restaurants, unless you're going to be Burger King, or uh, if you, unless you're a big corporate owned one. Kind of reminds me of a few movies I've seen. But anyways, unless you're, unless you're corporately owned, you ain't going to survive. They're going to make everybody go buy from them. So, so now we've got this car. It's going to be a little uh, uh, passport showing that you've, you know, you hear what I'm saying? That, you, that you're in agreement that you've, you've taken this, right? So now you have to show this. Well, that ain't going to be good enough. Then they're going to take your phone. My phone's up here. But they're going to have your phone. They're going to give you a digital wallet. All your money's going to be in there. All your, 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 your information's going to be in there from your little uh, roll up your sleeper. You know what I'm saying? It's all going to be in there. And you got to have that phone. Watch. That phone is going to be just like your driver's license for long. I'm just warning you. This is the truth. The phone will be like your driver's license. You won't be able to go nowhere without your phone. You get caught without your phone, and you're going to get a ticket. And then, think about this. How inconvenient is that phone? I mean, you can leave that phone at home. You can lose your phone. You can get a new phone number, right? Oh, well, how much more convenient would it be just to give you a hard stamp right here? Because it's just... They need a way to where they can see 
Who is in agreement with this system? And who, whose head do they need to take off because they are not in agreement with the system? Who can go in and buy food? Who cannot go in and buy food? They've got to have a way to quickly identify you. You better put your ear forward. Here's the warning. In a Revelation 14, it says, Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, This is your warning. This is your warning. If anyone worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. Listen to me. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Just like old Sodom and Gomorrah, right? he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. But see, they had it lucky. It just, it just beat them down and killed them right there. But we're talking forever. You will be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. And in the presence of the Lamb. In the presence of Jesus. The judge. The one that, that, that every knee will bow to. Do you hear what I'm telling you? So the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever and ever. And there's no rest, night or day, who worship the beast and the image and whoever receives the mark of his name. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. You lean an ear in and you hear what I said and you put it deep into your heart, friends. This is what the book says. About the mark. Now all you got to do is look around and start, get you a pen and paper and start listing the facts. What's going on at what time frame. And you can see where we're at in all this. Now the best you can hope for, the best you can pray for, is that the Lord comes back and gets us up out of here before stuff gets too bad for us here. Anyways, I hope that you, 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 you heard what I had to say. And that, that, you, that the Lord put it in your heart to understand what is true and where we sit in this world today. I love you. And I just, I just, the Lord put it on me. I had to share it with you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray for everyone that sees this video either now or later in the future until, until the system takes it down, Lord. That they may see it as truth and that, that your Holy Spirit may just see it surge through their body and fill them up till their cup of runneth over. That you baptize them, Lord, in the Holy Spirit. Father, I love you and I praise you and I give you all the glory, Lord. I know nothing, I can do nothing without you, Lord. For you are the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Great I Am, the Good Shepherd, the Gatekeeper, the only way to God. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, what a good God. Father, I love you and I praise you. I thank you for this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, be blessed. Stay alert, stay alive. Get in your Bible. Give your heart to God. If you're backslidden, you better slide back quick while you still got time, amen? All right, y'all have a great night.